Rosalie had finally arrived at the University of Brightchester. Entering the Drake Hall with a huge smile across her face, upstairs were the eight dorms, for singles, one of which was hers, and for doubles, and downstairs were areas for fun and games, a library, and of course, a cafeteria. After exploring her new home, she headed outside to explore the rest of the sunny campus. More excited than ever to begin this next chapter of her life, she rode her bike that she brought with her from home to the center of the quad, mesmerized by the huge statue. And while she gazed at it, she was approached by a teenage boy wearing animal ears. What the hell is a child doing here? Gross, no thank you. Rosalie is naturally pretty nice, so she dealt with the boy's antics for a while before leaving an offering for academic success at the statue, and after leaving her offering behind, she remembered how bad she needed Finley right now, and how excited she was to meet him at the local bar in a few hours. She ditched the teenage boy behind and headed for north of campus to learn more information about organizations and upcoming events. She was set on joining the debate guild. Finding out that they were hosting an event tonight at the same bar she would be meeting Finley at. Perfect. She can ask a member about joining the team. She then bought some last minute items, like Brightchester merch and any other textbooks she needed. Oh god, that dude is coming back to Rosalie. We gotta bounce. She headed to the Brightchester Commons to check it out. Stopping by one of the vendors outside to get a quick snack. The campus was gorgeous. The weather was perfect. She just knew she was going to have a great time attending this school, but she had to hurry and scarf down her chocolate croissant because it was time for her to see the love of her life again. She made her way to Pepper's Pub in Gibbs Hills, and there he was, Finley Broke, the love of her life, man of her dreams. It had only been a day and a half, but God, did she miss him. It was so intimidating traveling to a new city and not knowing anybody. She was so grateful to have Finley by her side. Even with them going to different colleges, he was so happy to see her wearing her engagement ring. He wanted everybody to know that she was off the market, all to himself. They immediately headed to the borough, the lovebirds deciding to try their famous apple teenies. Courtney, you really got screws for brains. Did Rosalie not just tell you yesterday about her going off to Bright Chester? Anyways, Rosalie ignored Courtney's dumbass text and caught up with her man, asking how his first day of classes were, how he likes his dorm, and how he likes Foxbury's campus. He really enjoyed his first day, he met some cool sims and his professors seem passionate about what they do, he was even thinking about joining a sport or a club to try and get himself out there a bit. Rosalie was very pleased to hear that. Finley is a bit introverted and doesn't have many friends. She really hoped he would conquer his social anxiety and make some friends over these next few years. She then told him about how the debate guild would be meeting here tonight at 8. She was really hoping they would let her join. Well, since she'll have some schmoozing to do, Finley wanted to spend as much quality time with her as possible beforehand. They finished their drinks and headed upstairs so he could kick her ass at foosball. Rosalie and and Finley had agreed to meet with each other as much as they possibly could, whether that was between classes, before or after, or having sleepovers on the weekends. It was highly important to the two of them to keep their relationship strong and healthy. Kinda hard to do when you haven't told Finley your feelings about the engagement, Rosalie. But she promised herself that she would tell him soon. They still hadn't talked about it, and she really needed to know if marriage was something Finley wanted sooner or later. Rosalie hoped for later otherwise they may have a problem she didn't want to think about that her life was too good right now for a fight with the one sim she knows in brightchester so she focused on kicking his ass at foosball only to be left defeated he meant what he said but that was fine because rosalie heard it getting noisier downstairs the debate guild must be here why the fuck are all of the members old it's never too late to get a college education but is there anyone in this club that's rosalie 
Rosalie's age. Our heir was dying to introduce herself to the members, so she shared one last sweet moment with Thinley before heading with him downstairs. Girl, please, you know you're gonna be riding that thing all night and be late to your first day of class. She went up to one of the members and impressed her with a polite introduction. Immediately, she sized Rosalie up and down. Girl, you are not one to judge. Holy shit, just one day in college and Rosalie is already being hit on. And by someone who's literally never spoken to her before. Welcome to college girl. If only you could experiment with lesbianism right now. She asked the debate guild member if she could join. And she was immediately accepted. Rosalie's officially a nerd. Her and Finley were starting to get tired. And they needed their quality time with each other more than anything. So they headed back to Rosalie's dorm. So she could give Finley an in-depth tour. Yeah, an in-depth tour of your simu- Anyways, I feel so sorry for whoever is next to Rosalie's dorm. Again, we're being hit on and asked if they could join. This place is a mess. After kicking that person out of her room, Finley reviewed their class syllabuses together before sharing all the cuddles in her tiniest twin bed. But that was all they need. As long as Finley was by her side, she was okay. He made her forget about yesterday's anger about Joseph. He made her feel feel safe in this brand new city. He just knew exactly what to do. He was everything to her. Don't make this all sentimental sitch. You know you just wanna get wicked. And they did, for quite some time, probably a little too long, as it was already pushing one in the morning, and they both have a class at 9am. Did he just give her a present for giving him the best sloppy he's ever received? As he should sitch, as he should, Finley was in a silly goofy mood, so he proceeded to joke around with his girl. She was laughing so hard, begging him to stop. She really had to go to sleep. Okay, okay, he'll stop, as long as she agrees to wash up with him before he leaves. That was something she could definitely agree to. And with that, Finley was off to his dorm at Foxbury Institute and Rosalie to bed. They would see each other again tomorrow after classes. Tomorrow being love day. Rosalie managed to get just enough sleep she needed to start her day. Taking some breakfast with her outside to the common area, she sat herself down next to a fellow redhead she had seen her around the dorm, but never introduced herself, and was dying to make friends, maybe get invited to parties and events. She wanted to live these years to the fullest. She went ahead and politely introduced herself to her classmate, finding out her name was Kimberly Petty. Since Rosalie is so nice and easy to warm up to, it didn't take long for Kimberly to open up to her and tell her her entire life story. She has the introvert, smug, child of the islands, chic, and art lover traits. She enjoys nature enthusiasts and spooky music, as well as country fashion and fitness. She's right-handed and has no living family at all. No living family, Rosalie thought that was so sad. Though Kimberly was used to it, she was raised in the system her entire life. But at least she got this scholarship to Brightchester. She would get to change her life for the better and break the cycle. Despite just meeting Kimberly, Rosalie gained a lot of respect for her. After eating and chatting with Kimmy, Rosalie went ahead and finished her homework for today's two classes before rushing over to said class. And right after her first class was over, her second one began. She thought her first day of classes went well. Oh hell nah, I am not falling for that shit again. I saw what you did to Shana Kiloha. After classes, Rosalie thought it was time to hit the books and head to the library. She worked on the homework for her next two classes and got a jump start on her term paper. As she was finishing the first few pages of said paper, she received a call from Finley asking her if he could take her out on a date later tonight. She knew it. She knew he had something planned for Love Day. She was so excited, which meant that she should probably head back to her dorm soon to freshen up, but not without 
about testing her wits at the debate podium first. Of course, the debate guild wasn't here, but considering she would have to start publicly speaking in front of huge groups of people, she decided to practice in front of a group of random sims. Rosalie is very confident, so she didn't find this challenging at all. Public speaking was something she knew she had in the bag. Oh my god, the mascots are throwing hands, not Brightchester's musket getting their ass beat on their own turf. Rosalie got back to her dorm shortly after to get ready for her date with Finley. Stoked to see where they were going. All he told her on the phone was to dress formally, so she put on a sexy wine-colored dress and the best perfume she'd brought with her from home. There is nothing more that I love than a pathetic, weak man. He couldn't help but compliment how ethereal she looked. He's gorgeous fiance. He told her they were going into the city for a nice dinner, and Rosalie couldn't be any more excited. But what she didn't know was that Finley had plans to discuss something with her. Something regarding their engagement. Something that would probably make Rosalie lose her appetite. 